This SciShow video is supported by Brilliant. As a SciShow viewer, you can keep building your STEM skills with 20% off an annual premium subscription at brilliant.org slash scishow. You might think that the way mammals eat is not complicated. They open their mouths, and they bite the thing that they want to eat. That is what I do when I see a cupcake. But there are loads of different feeding strategies out there. That's especially true when you live underwater, which is so much thicker than air that getting a bite to eat can be a bit more complicated than point yourself at thing and nom. And that means that some marine mammals, like seals and sperm whales, have had to change their whole approach to getting food. It doesn't matter that their distant ancestors were fish, they have had to evolve to eat underwater all over again. On land, biting is the norm, and it's definitely still a thing among marine mammals, although it can look a little different. Dolphins, for example, ram straight towards their food to chomp it. Okay, so charging at your food face first isn't exactly the same as chowing down on a cupcake, but nevertheless, this feeding style is not how most marine vertebrates eat. Because let's think about water for a second. It's viscous enough that grabbing something with your jaws isn't necessarily efficient. What you can do, though, is suck food in like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, try doing that with air. Actinopterygian fish, the group that makes up half of all vertebrates, have specialized jaws ideal for suction feeding. Helpfully, they also have gills to expel the excess water they take in while sucking. Us mammals do not have gills, and our mouths are full of teeth that seem custom-built for chomping and chewing. That means that when mammals returned to water, evolution had to figure out how to suction feed all over again, and without the benefit of gills. Take sperm whales. Pygmy and dwarf sperm whales have small snouts and narrow jaws that do not look like they would be good for sucking, and yet suction feeding is what they do. You might mostly be thinking about your lips when you're sucking milkshake through a straw, but while those help, it's mostly the tongue and the throat doing the sucking. Likewise, in the absence of mobile lips, these whales basically drop their tongues down and hollow out their cheeks to create negative pressure. That negative pressure in inside of the mouth slurps the prey right in. In some ways, it's actually similar to suckling, a mammal-specific trick that lets babies drink milk and breathe air at the same time. Which brings back another drawback when you've evolved from a land-dwelling lifestyle. Suction feeding is a great way to capture food, but it does fill your mouth with water. Fish, as we said, can clear that water out by expelling it over their gills. But mammals need to either swallow all that extra water along with all their food, or blow the water back out of their mouth with without dropping the tasty morsel they just nabbed. Swallowing salty seawater is costly for the body to process and excrete, even for marine mammals. So carefully jetting the water out is preferred. The move is called hydraulic jetting, and it's sort of like a squirt gun out the side of your mouth. Jetting has been observed in captive pygmy and dwarf sperm whales, but whales in general don't do well in captivity, and observing broader feeding patterns in the wild is pretty logistically challenging. Seals, though not that closely related to whales, are a bit easier to study in a captive setting, and it turns out they're actually great at suction feeding, raptorial feeding, and hydraulic jetting. Scientists are still investigating how much different species of seal rely on suction feeding, but one study with captive harbor seals took a closer look at their preferred feeding styles. Harbor seals are less specialized for exclusive suction feeding than some of their relatives, like walruses, but it seems like they still prefer suction to biting when offered prey items that they could get either way. Underwater food was placed in or protruding from a bunch of cylindrical holes. If the food was poking out of the hole, a seal could opt to just bite down on it with their teeth. If it was deeper in, suction was called for. Unlike whales and dolphins, seals and their close relatives have more mobile lips to help with food capture and manipulation. But this study confirms that they use the same tongue depression as whales to create suction. You see, many seals preferred to use suction, whether the snack was sticking out or fully lodged deeper in the cup. Scientists could also closely observe how the seals jetted water out of the sides of their mouth after taking a piece of food. On occasion, a seal would even blow out a squirt of water in order to create a vortex that would push the treat out of the tube. It's possible that being more flexible in your feeding styles and using all these different techniques means that you can be more varied in your diet. And for the mammals that were making the early transition back into marine environments, that flexibility was probably critical. Scientists now believe that relearning how to suction feed was an important step in marine mammal adaptation, paving the way for more sophisticated feeding styles, like the baleen that allows for ram-style and suctionless filter feeding in whales. On top of all of the other 
obvious changes needed to adapt to life in the sea, like limbs becoming flippers, the change in feeding method is way less obvious but no less important. Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this SciShow video. Brilliant is an online learning platform that offers guided courses in science, computer science, and math. And that means with Brilliant, you can take a course in cryptocurrency, followed by a course in casino probability. They offer all sorts of topics that could even become your next side hustle. But with Brilliant, it doesn't feel like work. Brilliant offers courses that are interactive, full of puzzles with relatable examples, and focused on problem solving. In the cryptocurrency course, you'll learn what a blockchain is and how cryptocurrency is maintained and secured so you can make your own educated decision about the future of this digital currency. You can check out the 19 cryptocurrency lessons, 16 casino probability lessons, or anything else in their large catalog of courses today by clicking the link in the description down below or heading to brilliant.org scishow. As a scishow viewer, you will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks so much for being a scishow viewer, and thanks so much to the scishow team for helping us all understand how mammals, when we're in the water, do suck.